Hey, this is Tristan Lodge, MasterTristanLodge.com, and today I want to talk to you about a putting a web form on your blog that um, pops up when new people visit. Yesterday we spoke about one on the sidebar here, um, so today I want to show you how to um, install and set up a pop-up form. You know, these um, when you love them, we love them. These things convert like crazy, so it's really well worth having it on your blog. Uh, is you're going to get a ton of leads um, from them. So I'll just show you what I mean by a pop up. Um, so my blog's just loading now. And there it is, there. So that pops up, and people can put their details in there and they are on my list. Okay, so how do we do that? Right, first of all, I'll just show you quickly how to get into um, where to find the forms again. Just to br briefly run over and quickly go over something from yesterday. So you want to pick the list that you want to send people to. Um, you might have different lists for different um, products you're selling or different um, services you offer. So pick the list that relates to the service or pop-up form that you're making. Um, okay, so we'll just leave it on this for the sake of it. And then click over onto web forms in your AWeber back office and click create web form. And it will load. Sometimes AWeber can be a tiny bit slow. Right, okay. What I'll do is I'll show you, I'll get, I'll get the web form first and I'm going to show you how you can customise it to make it look so it's totally branded to you or whatever you want so you can put images onto these um, put forms. So, click on the one that says download because that's the one we're going to be using for our pop-up. Right, there we go and we want the form type, if we scroll to uh, over here. Yesterday we used inline, today we want to use light box. Okay, that's the exact one that I use. It darkens the back of the the, the blog out and just has the uh, form really prominent at the front. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to leave uh, Aweber for a second and we're going to head on over to um, I made this header, this is just a basic header, obviously you guys can um, take your time and get it looking exactly how you like, or you can um, get somebody to do this for you at fiverr.com, uh, I'm sure there's somebody there, five dollars will get you a top class, really good looking um, header for somebody, but dead easy to do on your um, Word, PowerPoint, whatever you've got, paint you can do it on there as well. So what I'm going to do is just take a, a capture of this here and you can get this little tool if you've never seen this before um, it's called Jing Project I believe I'll put a link at the bottom of this blog post if you're not watching this on my blog and you're watching it on YouTube click on my link in the description it'll take you through to my blog post where you can get the download and it's completely free and well worth having so we're going to capture that image and going to call it new <coughs> pop-up. I'll just save that onto my hard drive. Save, yes. Right, so we don't need that anymore. Just minimise that. Okay, we still don't need to be in Aweber. What we're going to do is we're going to go into our blog back office, into our WordPress back office. You can use Photo Bucket anywhere that is going to host the image for you. So what you want to do is you want to just go into your media, media library and just add new. And we'll just upload, and we'll upload the image. It was called new pop up so it's there so it's dimensions there 456 wide 
Write that down, which is what's important. And what we're after is that bit of code there. So what I'm going to do, I'll just click on Save All Changes. Okay, this is really the easiest way to do it, and if you're using WordPress, then it's completely it's so simple to do this. If you to host all your pictures, um, what we'll do now is we're going to head on over to our blog, our sorry, our word, uh, the form, and we're going to type in here. We've got width um, 456. Okay, we're going to go to advanced settings, right, just going to leave it on the form type for a second because I want to show you something, we've got display options, default, you can fade it in, slide from the top, slide from the bottom, slide from the left, slide from the right, if we fade it in it looks good, you can do whatever you like, you can have this recurrence, display once, display every seven days, display once to find you, or you can have it displayed every time they click to a new page, that can become kind of annoying. You can have it whenever you want, so we'll put it as five seconds. What we'll do now is we'll click on header. Okay, because we want to we want to get rid of this section here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of that. That is no longer needed. And if we go back over to our back office, uh, the back office for WordPress, you have here this file URL simply copy control C to copy it and control V to um, paste it right there you go as you can see it's just chopped half of it off not a problem just click on the um, edit header and I'm sure there is an easier way to do this but I haven't found it out yet so what we would do is we just click down like that, that's good enough, click OK. So we have our custom header and what we want to do next is we want to add a phone number. We always have a phone number um, or Skype, you know really put Skype in there as well. Uh, very useful, especially if we're in the UK and you're contacting people in the States, you can speak to them all day for free. So, really useful tool to have. Um, right, next thing to do is just edit your submit button. Um, um, And then we'll click OK and then we can centre that up by simply coming up here into position and um, clicking on that. So every time you click on something here, labels, it changes this bit here and you can change it all around and do what you want with it. So really useful. Um, so we'll leave it like that. We'll get rid of this. This will just take you through to an affiliate that if you got if you are an affiliate of Aweber. Save the web form web form even then what we want to do is just head on over to click so go to step two we'll name the form um, new pop I'm going to call it new pop call it whatever you like just something you can remember right these pages these little links here these are um, nothing to worry about just your thank you page you can leave it as a basic version or what you can do is customize it so that the url they've come in on if you've got a, another page that directs them there uh, somewhere to go after they've opted in then you just put that in so it'll be your www.yourdomainname.com forward slash thank you or welcome whatever it is you've called that page um, so that's that I'll leave it as just the basic version. Again, <coughs> already subscribed. So someone has already added their email address and details into your form, the form you've just created. What you can do then is you can redirect them to another page where they can get a list of the training they should have received or anything. You know, you can control where you send people to. So that's 
really useful if you just click click on that and that will send them to wherever you want them to go. If you leave it as blank it will just send them back through the system. So just save web form then click go to step three. I'm just gonna now install this on our blog. This time you're using a JavaScript, you are not using um, HTML. So you just use take this JavaScript and we're going to control C head on over to our blog. Under appearance we have widgets. Now, if you have a look here, I already have this here. Um, I'm just going to name it because I'm going to remove it. That's the pop up form that you just saw at the beginning of the video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down here. Doesn't matter, in here so I can drag it back. So what we're going to do now is, as we did yesterday, we're going to grab a text file, the text box, put that up there, we click on the down arrow, control V, there is the code gone in, we're going to press save, that's saved, go head on over to our blog, and if we click the refresh or reload button, see if post pop up comes up. Okay, so that is how you make a pop-up form and add it to your WordPress blog. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you got a ton of value from that, um, really easy to do, play around with it, get on, uh, have some fun with it, make some really cool pop-ups and um, start generating a ton of traffic. My name is Tristram Lodge, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment at the bottom of this blog post if you're watching it on my blog. If not, then uh, leave me a comment and share on uh, Facebook through YouTube. And don't forget to sign up for the three-day free training that I've got at the link underneath this video. Or you can get it on my fan page if you're watching this on Facebook. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye. See you soon.